Okay, hi guys. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are back in my kitchen, obviously, because we are going to be making something that I've never made before. We are making a crispy rice with spicy tuna. Per usual, um, I found this recipe online, so I don't really know if it's gonna be any good, but there are a lot of steps actually, so let's just get started. So the first step is to make the sushi rice, which is honestly like a whole process in itself. We actually have to strain the rice first, which gets all of the extra starch out of it. I'm gonna be making a half a cup. Okay, we're just gonna transfer the rice to a pot. And then a half a cup of rice calls for three fourths cup of water. I have this one fourth cup, so I'm just gonna do three of these. One, two, three. Now, apparently before I even cook this, I'm supposed to actually let it sit in this water for 30 minutes. I honestly don't really know why there's so many specific instructions to making this, but we're just gonna do it. I'm just gonna leave it back here. Set a timer for 30 minutes. 30 minutes, and that's starting now. While that's happening, we're gonna start prepping the other ingredients. We're gonna need some scallions, mayonnaise, Sriracha, and of course, some sushi grade tuna. I'm gonna keep this in the refrigerator for right now because I'm actually just gonna start off with cutting up the scallions. Okay. Get rid of those. And now I'm just gonna cut them up really thin. So here are my scallions. Next, we're gonna be making the spicy mayo. Which honestly, I make all the time, even when I just order sushi because I am like obsessed with it. You just combine these two things in a bowl. It's really simple. So, let me just open this because I just got it. What the hell? There we go. Now I need to open this one. I just coincidentally ran out of both sriracha and mayonnaise right before I made this video, so. Okay, so the two easiest parts are done. Let's move this all out of here. Now we are going to mince the tuna. Here's our little fishy. I read online that you pretty much just dice it and then dice those dices even smaller and those even smaller and so on and so on until it's like fully minced. Let's just try it. I'm gonna split this in half and work in halves because I don't know what the fuck I'm doing, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, so let's start over here and cut these guys this way now. I hope this is like right. Okay, honestly, this is looking pretty good. So I'm actually gonna put this all into a bowl and then put it back into the refrigerator. And you know what, while we're at it, I'm gonna put both of these things back into the refrigerator for right now too, just so everything stays fresh. The rice is ready to be cooked. So let me see if we bring it to a boil and then cover it and simmer for 20 minutes. Put it over here. Okay, rice is boiling. I'm reducing it to low and then covering it. Set a timer for 20 minutes. 20 minutes, starting now. So we just kind of have to wait for the rice to cook. So I'll see you guys then. Okay, so there's actually still time left on my timer, but I just checked the rice and it looks like more than cooked. My stove is really hot, so I should have saw this coming. It's gonna be crispy rice anyway, so I think it'll be okay. Ah! Cancel my timer. All right, I canceled it. <sighs> uh, that's very unfortunate. <sighs> but you know what? What are you gonna do? Spend another an hour making new rice? No, we're not gonna do that. Also, this doesn't even look like a lot. There's a lot of things that are not going right right now. We're gonna be adding some rice vinegar and some sugar, actually. One, two, three, mix this around. It's 
kind of looking better. Like before when I dumped it out of the pot, it was straight up like crispy already on the bottom, but it kind of looks like I got rid of all that crispiness by just like mixing in this other stuff. Mmm, yum, yum. Now that we have the rice made, we need to transfer it into this. It just needs to be in a pan where it can be pushed down flat. I'm just gonna flatten it, it's sticking to everything, oh my God. I don't want this to be a gone wrong video. Like what the f This is all the rice I made? Why did this recipe call for half a cup? It's looking pretty good so far, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, besides the fact that we're missing rice on this whole f other side. So now I'm gonna be putting this in the freezer. We're gonna be combining these things. I actually don't think we'll need all the spicy mayo or all the scallions. I'm just gonna start to pour some of this in. Let's add in some of these. Okay, looks pretty good. Tastes fucking amazing. Okay, I'm gonna cut it into squares. They're like uneven pieces. Ah, this definitely isn't Nobu. So I read this little hack where you can take saran wrap and wrap it around each piece and then squeeze it tight. So I think I'm gonna do that for each of these pieces before I fry them because yeah, they're kind of weird shapes. Really do not want these to fall apart in the pan. I'll be so upset. Amazing. That actually worked really well. I have to do it 11 more times. Last one. We are going to be deep frying these. So let's move to the stove. So we're gonna need a pan and then I'm gonna heat a thin layer of oil. So I'm gonna need a lot of oil here. Let's heat it up. This is really the moment of truth. It's a little bit scary because if it goes wrong here, then I fail. I just fail. Here are our little rices. Here we go. Ah! 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 Hot oil. Ah! Ah! I forget which one I put in first. So far they're not falling apart, which is amazing. They're all getting stuck together, it's so annoying. Please, just stay away from each other. <laughs> Some of them are cooking faster than others. So I'm gonna take out the ones that I think are done. Like this one looks done to me. This one does too. Amazing, love, perfect. Do you hear that? They're like still cooking. We did it, let's go back to the island. Okay, wow, okay, wow, okay. <laughs> Now we just need to get the fish out of the refrigerator and top each piece with some spicy tuna. Pretty simple. So we're just gonna put a little bit in your spoon and put it on top and literally like that's it. Only a few more. Last one. Beautiful. Beautiful, 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 beautiful angel. And here is the finished product. Cheers. Crispy. Come try it. <laughs> oh my god. Don't fucking chip a tooth. I'm worried my teeth are gonna fall out. That's what I was thinking when I ate it. Mmm. That piece wasn't bad. What went wrong? 
It's too crispy. What the f am I gonna eat for dinner? I want it to not be as crispy so bad because it's really good. Damn it! <laughs> F Can I have another piece? Why? Because it's that f good? It's so good. This is so annoying. I'm literally so upset. I don't think the internet has ever seen me this upset before. <laughs> if you have anything to say about this in the comments, just don't say it. Alright guys, well... It didn't work out. It's really sad though because it really does taste amazing. It's just like literally too crispy. I hope you guys enjoyed this video though. I hope it made you laugh. And if it did, then please give it a big thumbs up. It really helps out my channel. And also leave a comment down below just saying anything. Actually leave a comment down below making it seem like this turned out amazing, even though it really didn't. So we trick everyone else who's clicking on this video. But yeah, I think that is pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all next Saturday with another new video. Bye.